Good morning, America. How are you? Monday morning rail. Hi, I'm Denny Yelsma, and I'm not at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum. I'm at the world famous Horseshoe Curve in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And show and tell is always brought to you by Yelsma Graphics, the embroidery people that make all the railroad embroidery that you see at all the home show, uh, shows all over the United States and the railroad shows. You see us on the uh, Ken Patterson What's Neat Show. Uh, you just go to yelsma.com and you will see Yelsma Graphics. Yelsma.com for all your shopping. Now, with all that being said, I want to ask you, what does a B-29 bomber and the horseshoe curve have in common? I'm going to tell you that in just a moment. Show and tell is going to start right now. Show and tell starts right now. Every Monday morning, we do show and tell, and we have a very exciting show for you. We're in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Just west of Altoona is the world famous Horseshoe Curve. And today, number two is not my cameraman. I have a one of my best friends is Mr. Lyle. He is uh, Pennsylvania, and he's my cameraman today. And w I asked a little before, what does a B-24 and horseshoe curve have in common? Well, during World War II, my cameraman, Mr. Lyle, he had a relative that was on a B-24, and they spotted a German sabotage it was coming ashore and their whole purpose was to blow up horseshoe curve and so his relative uh, was on that plane and it's uh, you know a family story and it's really kind of neat but during the war this was so important this particular piece of geography on railroading that every hundred yards they had an army officer uh, I mean an army uh, person with a gun loaded and they guarded this whole curve for about four or five miles because it was so important to get uh, uh, raw materials, finished materials, everything into the war front and uh, over this curve. But Horseshoe Curve was first put in by the Pennsylvania Railroad and, uh, in the 1850s, and it was just an absolute uh, miracle how this was built. And it was dubbed the eighth wonder of the world. And uh, the significance of the transportation of this curve, and it's still today, uh, if they have a problem on Horseshoe Curve, our whole almost economy almost stops for uh, two or three days until they get it uh, fixed up. And that's the importance of this curve right here. It started out as the Pennsylvania Railroad, and in uh, 1960, uh, uh, seven uh, uh, Penn Central or 68 uh, Penn uh, they formed Penn Central and that was from the New York Central and uh, from the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad they merged and then uh, in the 1970s uh, they formed Conrail which was about 10 or 11 uh, Northeast Railroads and it was called Conrail and then in the 90s uh, CSX and Norfolk Southern got into a bidding war uh, to buy Conrail and they split it up and this section here uh, was taken over by North Fork Southern and today it's still heavily traveled uh, they still run passenger trains over here they run the Pennsylvanian that runs from uh, Pittsburgh uh, to uh, New York City and then uh, they run the uh, Pennsylvania train that goes to Chicago and so uh, Norfolk Southern still runs 50, 60 trains a day over this uh, famous horseshoe curve. And it's just a, a landmark. And, uh, and when you are in the railroad, if you are a model railroader or if you're a rail fan, you haven't really came home until you come to horseshoe curve. This is kind of the, the model railroaders, the regular rail fans mecca. Uh, you've got to come to horseshoe curve. Uh, Lyle and I have been friends for 40 some years and we try to get uh, to uh, Horseshoe Curve once a year uh, and we have pretty well uh, down through the years 
and uh, he doesn't even like railroads, but he loves Horseshoe Curve because it's naturally it's part of Pennsylvania. But this is the world famous Horseshoe Curve. Now, we can't get up to the curve itself today because uh, it's uh, a, a national park and it's closed and uh, uh, they open on Wednesdays, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so being Monday morning rail, uh, we kind of missed out. But anyhow, I wanted to bring you show and tell from the world famous Horseshoe Curve in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And that's the way it is.